Ooh, yes! Super excited about today's video, guys, because I've been waiting over a year for this particular item. It's super exclusive, and when they do make it available for sale, it's only available for a limited time. You see, I love to make things mine. I don't go all Casey Neistat on it, but if given the opportunity, I like to customize things in a way that makes them stand out in a crowd of the same thing. This is a dbrand skin for my new MacBook Pro, but not just any dbrand skin. This is the Robot Camo Edition. It's super unique and super cool to look at. I mean, just look at my Nintendo Switch Robot Camo Edition. This thing is absolutely insane, disgustingly good. The detail, oh my gosh, it's so, I don't know if you can see that well, but the detail is absolutely insane. I fell in love with the skin when I installed it on the Switch. They actually stopped selling the skin on their website because they wanted to make it kind of like a special thing. And you know, I wasn't able to find it anymore more, so I was kind of out of luck for my MacBook, and I ended up just buying a different skin. My older 2019 base model MacBook Pro really couldn't handle the 4K timeline the way I wanted it to, so I decided it was time for an upgrade, and oh boy, am I glad I did. I ended up staying with the 16-inch MacBook Pro. I got the M1 Pro chip in it with 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. And after a couple days of researching, going back and forth from different tech reviewers, I finally decided on the M1 Pro because I felt like this was definitely gonna meet my needs. Let me just tell you, this thing flies and it's easily the fastest Mac I have ever used. File transfers, downloads, browsing the web, checking emails, all of it is just faster, smoother, and a better experience on the new MacBook Pro. It's got that beautiful 16-inch liquid render display with a thousand nits brightness, 1600 peak brightness, and it's even got the ProMotion 120 hertz refresh rate. I feel like Apple's pretty good with displays, except for the studio display, but otherwise, this is amazing. And when it comes to video editing and the workflow involved, it's an absolute beast. Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, all work better than on any other Mac device I've tried. And the freaking battery life, guys, it's absolutely amazing. Check this out. Okay, so I edited two videos, made a thumbnail, uploaded to YouTube, watched a movie, and went to sleep with 30% battery left. Here's some 4K video from my Sony a7 III and just look at how smooth scrubbing the timeline is. I have LUTs and stabilization on this bad boy. Compared to what I was using before, there is no difference. This blows it out of the water completely. Exporting these projects are absolutely amazing. Like other videos you've probably seen on YouTube, the export time is freaking phenomenal. I exported that same project file and half the time that it took me to export on my other iMac Pro with 128 gigabytes of RAM. Do you hear that? It's so quiet. Crazy good battery life, excellent performance, and super low power usage is what you're gonna be getting out of these new MacBooks. And I have to say, as a PC builder and hardcore Windows enthusiast, I am truly impressed with the new M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, and whatever M1s come out afterwards. Apple truly knocked it out of the park with this one. That's it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want a more technical analysis of the new M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Maybe I throw some higher resolution footage into the timeline, scrub around, see if I can break this thing. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you like the content. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me, and I will see you in the next one.